In Taiwan, people love this. It's good for you. This one looks like it's giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> American-born Chinese mainly focuses on Jin Wong, an Asian-American kid who's just trying to fit in at his high school. What are you laughing at? Uh, well, hey, uh, please, please don't, don't, don't do that. Everybody is staring at us. He's realizing that his cultural heritage and even the way he looks kind of what makes him an Wong? outsider in the school community. What could go wrong? Easy there, Jin. Jin! My name is Jin! As I was growing up as an Asian-American kid, there wasn't shows for kids like me on TV. With this show, we can really dig into the deeper nuances of what it's like to grow up an Asian American. The core of the story is about family. And for many Asian Americans or children of immigrants, their parents are their one tie to their mother culture. It's a show that we wanted to exist for many, many years. In this particular show, there are Asian costume designers, producers, and writers. American-born Chinese is really, truly something I've never seen on American TV. It's multicultural. There's a lot of Mandarin. It's based on one of my favorite comic. The show is based on a graphic novel by Jin Lun Yang. For people in my community, everybody is aware of the American Born Chinese book. I think it's a beautiful way to learn more about some of our best mythological creatures from Journey to the West. In China, the Journey to the West novel is considered one of the four pillars of Chinese literature. I hope our series uh, teaches the audience the beauty of being different. We all should embrace each other for what we are. Yeah, like you don't ever really doubt yourself. Why would I doubt myself? American Born Chinese is a beautiful story about bridging different worlds. So innovative and so groundbreaking. And the costumes, the costumes, oh my god, they're, they're amazing. Every character has a very specific look. I play Guan Yin, the goddess of mercy. I have the most stunning costumes. I mean, she literally floats down from the heavens. We're just so lucky to have gotten to work with these amazingly talented costume designers. We've had a lot of collaborations with different designers. Philip Lim and Prabal. Prabal Gurung worked very closely with uh, Joy and Jose for the Goddess of Mercy look. And it's nice to have that input. It's like a couture fashion show. We definitely pulled from tradition, but adding a new, fresh take on her. We went a little out of the box. We did stage. an ombre, ombre pillar palette, and we, and we did the pleating. This is a Kenneth Barless. He's an Asian designer. Everything was like hand-painted, embellished, beaded, took over 100 hours to make. I play the Monkey King, Sun Wukong. This is a famous, famous character in all of even Asian mythology, not just Chinese. And Philip Lim did an amazing job to kind of create this new image of, of the Monkey King. I looked at Daniel as someone that has a certain type of regalness to him, and I wanted to make sure that we amplified that and created this uh, modern-day mythological superhero that could exist here. The dress, the outfit is very regal with all this armor on it. We make sure to keep the Chinese origins or the guilt the embroideries. It's one of these projects being of Chinese descent that you know I felt so honored to explore. When I play Heaven Monkey King who's in full monkey prosthetics, it takes about three hours to get it all done. I look in the mirror and I cannot see the seams, I cannot see any of the makeup, it just I just see a monkey in the mirror. So it's pretty cool. They have been able to use colors, fabrics, with creativity and understanding all these different characters and making it such an extravaganza to the eyes. 